Right, the next skill we're going to look at is the high catch. Uh, it's such an effective skill if you can get good at it. So, a couple of key pointers. First of all, we're going to do this drill either by yourself or with someone throwing the ball to you, whatever you have. So, when we're doing the high catch, a couple of things we have to look at is first you have to keep your eye on the ball at all times. Whether you're marking a man or whether there's a bit of movement going on in the field, make sure you keep your eyes on the ball at all times. That's the most important thing. So the next most important thing is you want to catch the ball at its highest point. Don't wait for it to drop into your hand or don't try to jump too early. So a lot of this practice you get into the rhythm of it. Um, so then I'll show you a couple of examples uh, on how you approach. So first of all, we can start with your basic high catch. We are running and you're jumping and catching the ball. And again, eyes on the ball at all times and catch the ball. So as you progress with that and you get comfortable catching the ball, try add in some safety features for ourselves that you can actually skill. So hurling is such a fast moving game, people can get hurt if they don't protect themselves. So the two best ways to protect ourselves are when you're jumping for the ball, put your hand behind your hand, put your hurl behind your hand so you don't get clattered. So the idea is it comes and stops the hurl from hitting your hand. And the other idea is when you're throwing the ball up, get your knee up like that so you're protecting yourself from anyone coming in like that. So best luck with that. And again, try it 30 seconds. Try making it into a competition if you can. And the idea behind that is if you're practicing every day, you should see the improvement and that's motivation itself. So thanks very much, guys.